Hi, it's Mrs. Shearer, and tonight's homework is to watch a short presentation on density with a little bit of a measurement review beforehand. You will need a piece of paper, blank paper, and a pencil out while you watch this presentation. So the first thing is a little bit of a review. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. We measure mass with triple beam balance. Volume is the amount of space taken up by an object. And depending on whether the object is a liquid or solid, we measure volume a little differently. If it's a liquid, we measure it with a graduated cylinder. If it's a solid, we're usually able to measure the volume with a ruler or a meter stick. Density, which is tonight's topic, is the ratio of a material's mass to its volume. So you take the mass with the triple beam balance and you take the volume with the graduated cylinder or the ruler and then you need to use a calculator to calculate the density of an object. The cool thing about density is density is a constant. Regardless of if you have the teeniest, teeniest, tiniest piece of copper or a huge piece of copper, it will always have the same density. So density is a constant. To imagine what density looks like in a molecular level, look at these two cubes here on the screen. Density is the concentration of mass in an object. So the cube on the left has a lot of mass or molecules packed into the same volume as compared to the cube on the right that has less. So when you think of density, think of these two pictures. The one on the left is more dense, the one on the right is less dense. If you look at the formula, density is mass over volume. The cube on the left has the same volume as the cube on the right, right? They're both the same size, but the one on the left has more mass because it has more molecules packed into the space. Last week we did a lab, a lab called Measuring Mass, and in that lab we determined that the mass of one milliliter of water was one gram. So now the interesting thing about water and the metric system is that one milliliter of water fills a space that's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. And the cool thing about density, if you look, one milliliter of water weighs one gram, has a mass of one gram, and one milliliter of water fills a space that's one centimeter cubed. So that means the density of water is one gram per centimeter cubed, or you can call that one gram per milliliter. So now to calculate density for other objects, because the density of water is a constant and um, and is hopefully easy to remember. For everything else, you just need to remember this picture in front of you. Mountains over deserts and valleys. The mountains are high up, the deserts and valleys are down low. Mountains up here, deserts and valleys down here. So here's where you need your piece of paper and your pencil. So if you don't have it, pause the video here and go run and get one. You're gonna draw a triangle, just like this. So a big triangle and there's gonna be a line across horizontally across the middle so you have a small triangle on top and then a line at the bottom to split the bottom into two different parts. Put an M at the top for mountains, put a D at the bottom left for deserts, and put a V at the bottom right for valleys. And again remember the sentence, mountains over deserts and valleys. This is what your triangle should look like. And this is the triangle you need when you're going to calculate density or because density is a constant, you have a density of the object and you need to figure out either the mass or the volume. Because the cool thing is because these three, um, these three numbers are all related. If you have the density of an object, but say you don't have a triple beam balance and you can't measure its mass, you can figure that out if you have the density and volume. So what you do is when you have a triangle like this, you cover the term you want to solve for. So when you want to solve for density, 
you're left with mass over volume. So mass divided by volume is density. If you need to solve for mass, so you have the density and you have the volume, you cover the mass, and density and volume are now on the same row, right? They're at the same level. So now mass is equal to density times volume. And finally, when you need to solve for volume, you cover the V. And now you've got mass above and density down below. So volume is equal to mass divided by density. So I hope this helps you. Don't forget to take the quiz, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye.